Hello my friends. I'm going to show you how to tie a knock point on your bowstring. And what you need to do is square your arrow up when it's on the arrow rest. And we want that arrow to be exactly perpendicular to the string. And you can use a tool like this, bowstring square, or I prefer to use this once the arrow is in the arrow rest and we use the square like this. Okay, then we mark the two points on the uh, side of the knock on the arrow. Okay, a thing to note is on the knock on the arrow it will be slightly different diameter than the shaft of the arrow and you see how it tapers in. So the easiest way is just take a square when the arrow is in its rest square that arrow up. Okay now the string to use you could use a serving string. The bow string does not work well because it's not twisted and it collapses when you wind or you could use any other type of a string or a fine cord but what you have to do is wax that cord. So you need to have about a foot to make the tie and you need to do that on above and below the arrow knock. So I'm waxing oh I'm waxing about three feet here. So I'll use about 18 inches and I'm using beeswax to wax this string. Okay, that this waxing the string will make it stick to itself and stick to the uh, bow string. Once you have the arrow in its position, you want to make a tie. The tie, the knot that we're using is a clove hitch. Like this. And we use the we put the knot in the middle of this cord and bring it right up to the knock and pull it taut. At this point you can remove the arrow and we take the cord that's closest to this side and we make about three loops putting them next to each other once you have the three loops then we're going to tie it off like we do with our serving we're going to make continue we make this loop and we continue with about seven more turns that'll give us about ten turns Okay, take your tag end over the knot that we're doing and now we start unwinding this. As we unwind here, we're winding here. So this wind will unwind those loops that we just made. Okay, this has given us 10 turns, and now we take this tag end that we buried, we pull on that, and it will tight, tighten the knot. For clarity purposes, we're going to use a little bit of larger items here. I'm, I have a stick. This is going to represent your bowstring, and a cord here your serving twine. Okay, find the middle of that cord. Your arrow would be sitting here, you mark this edge. Okay, now right at this point you want to tie what's called a clove hitch. Come around over top and basically a clove hitch is two 
half hitches like this. Okay, adjust your clove hitch if your arrow is here. Bring it up to the arrow knock and tighten it. Now if you look at these cords coming out two directions, the cord that's closest to the this winding, we're going to do our windings in this direction. This is where the arrow knock sits. So we start the winding. We want to go about three times. Then we make a loop. Now this is going to create our knot. So one, we want to go about seven times. Two, three, four, five, six, and one more, seven. Take the tag end, bring it across your initial windings. Okay, now we're going to wind, we're keeping these tight together, winding across that tag end, and this will, as we wind here, it unwinds this end, keeping them very tight. Okay, now to get rid of this loop, we pull our tag end like that. Now that gives us a total of 10 windings, and now we cut this off. Some people, after they cut, they um, melt it, melt the end, and it kind of locks it in. I've never had this come apart this way without the, the heating. Okay, now the second end, we're going to wind. This time, not as many. We ended up with 10 windings total, so we want to be slightly short. So we start this with a couple windings here, create our loop, and now we want to do five windings, and again put our tag end over on this side, and continue the winding. Keeping these tight. Okay, and then we ended up with a loop here. Pull the tag end, snug it up. Okay, that gave us a thicker knock point. We cut this end off, and again you could cut this a little bit longer and burn it. You would replace your arrow knock here and do the same thing going in this direction. This gives us a thicker knock point than just looping and tying. Okay, to get rid of that loop. We tug on this tag end, that embeds it, the beeswax that's on this string will hold it together, check the dimension, it should just fit. There you have it my friends, thanks for watching, bye bye.